In this video, we're going to be going over the new Vital Theme Editor, along with some of the added features, where to find skins, and how to make your own. For anyone new to Vital Skins, you can quickly change them by going to the Advanced tab and selecting the Theme option. This will let you quickly change your skins, along with showing you anything you have saved in your skins folder. For those of you that want to make your own theme, you can open up a theme editor by holding Alt or Option and clicking the menu here. In the color editor, the parts are split up into different menus and are assigned to a custom color palette. To see what color something's linked to, just left click it and check the color palette to see which color is highlighted. If you want to change the color something's linked to, you can take one of the other colors in the color palette and drag it over it to change it. You can also hit the plus icon at the bottom of the color palette to create a new color. Along with being able to change the colors, you can also set the opacity and bloom of each of the colors by using these boxes here. If you're not sure what one of the parameters is, you can right click it to highlight what it changes in Vital. If you only want to change a color for one of the sections, you can click the item you want to adjust on Vital, and it will only adjust the colors in that section. Also, another hidden feature is the ability to set color gradients. If you hold Alt or Option and click on a color, you can change it into a color gradient. If you want to change more than just the colors, you can go into the value menu. This will let you quickly adjust the shapes and size of certain parameters like fonts, corner rounding, knobs, sliders, and more. In the description, I'll leave a link to some of the skins I've made, along with some links to other places you can find more.